Hi, my name is Carla and I'm a Lushaholic. No, seriously, I'm a Lushaholic. I've got three bags full of Christmas stuff from Lush. Someone send help. I have no more space in my house for Lush. I can't buy anymore, I'm not allowed, but please keep giving me Lush. I, I just, I, I have an issue, I have a serious problem and I need help. Hey guys, so this is my huge Lush haul for Christmas. Um, I still didn't buy everything. I never buy everything, but I bought a lot of stuff. Um, I have pretty much everything I wanted this year, um, or at least wanted to try this year. Um, this is gonna be a long video again. I'm gonna just pre-warn you. It's probably gonna be really long. So go get yourself a drink, go get yourself some tea. I've got a bottle of water in the fridge and I'm waiting to cool down so I can have that. Get yourself some food, get some popcorn or something like that because you might not survive the whole video. So let's get on with this. I'm gonna start with like soaps and body stuff and all the business and then we'll get into the fun stuff, the bubble bars and the bath bombs. So let's see what I got. Okay, so I technically didn't buy, like there's a few, about five or six bits that I didn't actually buy because I still have them from last year because I don't I don't use it that much. Um, well, I do use it a lot, but like it doesn't get used up quickly for me. So there's a few bits here that I have that I've had since last year um, that I still have. I'm just gonna go through with you just so you know what I do have now because I would repurchase them if I didn't still have them, if that makes sense. So if I run out of them before Christmas, I will repurchase them just so you know. Um, so I'm gonna start with the soaps. Um, I don't really use like soap itself. Um, I kind of use a lot of it to clean my makeup brushes, which I really like to do. Um, especially soaps that I have a little while, I kind of use it for that. Um, so I only have two soaps and only one of them I actually bought this year. Um, the other one I've gotten since last year. So the first thing I'm gonna go through is the one that I got last year, which is the Golden Pear, which is not really golden anymore because I've since used it and the luster has come off it. But it still smells amazing. It's super sweet and fruity. Um, it's a soap obviously and in the center here it's got this like murumuru butter. Yes, mirror mirror butter. I've got my laptop beside me, like normal, um, just so I know what's in it. It's also got pear puree, cardamom oil, and sandalwood oil. It really just smells like pear, but like a soapy pear. <laughs> Obviously it's a pear soap, but like a very clean scent, but pear scented. It's really, really nice, really moisturized, and I actually really, really like this. They did come out with another one. It's the Satsuma one. It looks like a little Satsuma. Same thing, it's kind of sliced in half and then they've got the like murmur butter in the middle. That smells amazing, but I don't use soap that often. I'm not gonna buy stuff if I don't think I'm gonna use it. Um, obviously, since I still have this guy. Um, and it looks realistic and I like doing that with it. That's fun. <laughs> but I do use it, it's just I don't use it enough to have to buy any more soap really. The next soap that I have is the, what's it called? The Strawberry Santa Soap, which is what I'm assuming the soap version of the Peeping Santa bubble bar, bubble room, bubble bar. It's a bubble bar essentially, but I'm not sure if they called it a bubble room because it did have the cream in the middle. Um, that was basically strawberry scented. This is also strawberry scented. So this one has got fresh strawberries. It's got peach kernel oil. It's got geranium oil and it's got olibanum oil. Now I can really, really smell, obviously the strawberries, but I can really smell more so than I could smell before when I first like bought it. The olibanum oil. I'm getting slight Sultana of Soap vibes, which is what that has as well. And I'm kind of loving it. Obviously this is gonna be quite moisturizing in the center. I'll just see what that is in the center. You've got fair trade organic cocoa butter. That's basically what the center part is. And it smells really good, really sweet. More berry sweet though, it's really, really nice. They kind of look a little bit sad in the shop though, I will say, kind of kind of sad. But I'm very excited to use this. And I think I would actually use this up quite quickly because it's a little bit smaller and yeah. So that's our little set, strawberry center. See, water. Okay, so that's pretty much everything for the soaps because I only bought one, but I have two from the Christmas range this year. Um, I'm gonna move on to the only 
body scrub that they brought out this year for Christmas. They did bring two out before Christmas stuff launched, but um, they're not really part of Christmas, I'm assuming. But this is the Sugar Plum Fairy, and I can smell it without even actually smelling it. This looks like this. It's got like, it looks like the Plum Snowball bar from last year, but smaller. But it smells like it. But a little bit sweeter because it's got sugar in it. So this has got granulated sugar. It's got fine sea salt, sweet wild orange oil. And I'm going to butcher this, but Yumiboshi Plum. It's plum, basically. Really, really fresh, really, like, fruity. Like I said, a little bit sweet because of the sugar. Only thing I will say, it's a little bit small. So I imagine I'll probably get about two, three at the most goes out of this. Where I remember we had the peppermint bark or sea salt, peppermint bark, whatever it was called thing. It was a little bit bigger, it was a bit more like, um, like Buffy, that kind of size. Kind of prefer it to be that size, or if this was like the plum rain size, that would be really good. Because you are going to, I'm, well I would use it on my whole body, so, well, my legs, my arms, my, like, chest, my back and stuff like that. But it's really, really nice. Really fruity. <sighs> I wonder how long it's going to take for me to not be able to smell anything anymore. Let's see. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the scrubs because there's only one. Um, I'm gonna move on to shower gels. Um, what did I get shower gel wise? Oh yes, I got, okay, I'm gonna go through one thing that's comparing to another thing really quickly and then I'm gonna show you something I'm so excited about, but let me just grab them one sec. Okay, so as we all know, Twilight is, not the movie or the book, Twilight is a fragrance range from Lush, it's in bath bombs, it's in um, bubble bars, it's been in perfumes, it's in body sprays, body lotions, it's been everything basically. Um, and it's been my everything as well because I love the Twilight scent. It's basically lavender, tonka and that's it I think isn't it? Ylang Ylang. So it's a little bit sweeter. It's not It's not that lavender that you smell that's really floral and it's really kind of almost gives you a bit of a headache. It's this really soft, just yummy lavender. It's so nice. So I have a little bottle. I do actually have a bigger bottle of this, but it's kind of half gone. This is a full 100ml bottle um, of Twilight. It's this really nice dark, dark purple. You probably can't even see it. You might be able to see it there a little bit. It's this really dark, dark purple. Um, shower gel and it's one of those kind of clear ones as well but this is just beautiful it lathers amazing it's so nice they then came out with sleepy body lotion last christmas or the christmas before no it was last christmas and that went crazy so after that they kept that in the permanent range i love that as well same scent but it's called sleepy and then this year they brought out sleepy shower gel instead of twilight shower gel and I was a bit like you're not getting rid of my twilight but then I was like is it the same though apparently from what I've heard it's it is the same but it's not the same it's got a little bit more oat milk in it and um, now I didn't actually get a bottle of this I got my first ever naked shower gel because I've never tried one and I have twilight in a shower gel so I was like, I'll try the naked version of this and see what the naked ones are like, because I've never tried a naked shower gel. I've tried naked body conditioners, but not naked shower gel. So it's this really pale lavender kind of colour, obviously. Woo! It does smell kind of the same. Yeah, I can't really... It's, it's more lavender, though. Yeah. Slightly more lavender to it. It's not as kind of like soft and sweet. Hmm. Now what I will say about this is this is kind of, it's very ooh, melty. <laughs> um, it feels almost like a cream and in the bottle itself it kind of looks like cream because it's not clear. Most of the shower gels are kind of translucent um, with colour obviously and the other ones are, the shower creams are like opaque. This is not. If you can hear banging outside, that is bangers. I live in an area where people like to throw bangers at you, so that is fun. Um, just ignore, please, because they're absolute scumbags. But anyway, so yeah, they have this, guys. So I'm going to give this a go and just see how I like it. 
And I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out of Twilight. Although I still have that bottle that I bought last year and then I got this in a set that my mum got me um, for Christmas last year. So um, I'm, I do have enough, do you know what I mean? I'm not running out of anything ever in my life. Um, in fact, I'm just hoarding at this point, but I'm excited to see what it's like. I am quite excited. So yeah, that is our naked, first naked ever, shower gel. Okay, and then the next shower gel that I bought, I bought the, the medium size, the 260 gram size. Um, I normally, if I'm buying a new shower gel, I buy the little bottle and then I might buy the big bottle if I like it. Um, but I bought the big size, not the biggest, but the bigger size. Um, because this is a scent, basically, that came out in a bath bomb many years ago. Um, and I remember literally buying 20 of them and I had them all year round and I loved them so much. Every time I went in, I was like, I want more cinders, I want them all, give them all to me, I want cinders, I love cinders. It's cinders, by the way, is the name of it. So this year, they brought out, and they brought it out in a Halloween gift set. I sold it really quickly because this was in it. Um, but they brought out a cinders shower gel. And it's orange. <gasps> um, basically, cinders was this, re it was like the size of the butter ball, so it was like, it was like, that size and it basically was like really warm it was really um it had cinnamon it had almonds it, it just had all these really nice like warm things and then it had pop and candy which was my favorite part the pop and candy actually made it sound like crackling fire it was amazing um didn't really do much like it turned your bath a little bit yellow which most people don't really like, but I didn't mind, that doesn't bother me. The scent was amazing, oh my God. And then they brought out cinder shower gel and I was like, excuse me, I need all of those in my life. So this guy, it has, let me just see. So this guy has got organic pumpkin seed, which you can kind of see like at the bottom, there's like little granules of it at the bottom. Um, I don't really know if it's gonna be like exfoliating or anything, but like, so. It's got cinnamon leaf oil, ginger powder, which I'm not really a fan of. No, it's clove I don't like. I don't mind ginger, I don't like clove. Nutmeg powder, um, and I think, is there more? I'm pretty sure there's almond, there has to be almond oil somewhere in here because I can smell so much of almond oil. Aloe vera extract. Paprika, which gives it the color. Actually, it's a natural color. It's colored in paprika. Um, almond essential oil, yeah, Brazilian orange oil, cinnamon leaf oil. Um, I, when I first, like, gave it a good whiff when I first seen it, I could smell the almond oil mainly. <laughs> Which is like cinders, but it was missing the spice of that, if that makes sense. Like, it was missing the cinnamon, it was missing those little bits. And then I, <laughs> and then I bought it, and I was like, oh, it smells amazing. still smells amazing, I still love the smell of it. And then I was watching X Per, if, I don't know if anyone watched it, watched it, but she does a lot of Lush videos. And basically when she got hers, she was saying she could only smell cherries. And now I could, all I can smell is cherry. I can smell almond and cherry. She's done something in my brain. Now I'll have to see if, oh I got up my nose. I'll have to see if on the skin it smells differently, but we'll see. But I'm so excited for this guy. Oh. So that's our cinder shower gel. Okay, so that's everything for the like showery cleaning kind of things for you. I'm gonna move on to some face products, which I'm just too, I'm very excited about. The first one that I'm gonna show you though, I I bought last Christmas. This is the Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub. It's this light kind of purpley, mine's a bit faded now. Oh, that smells amazing. It's a sugar scrub for your lips. You kind of give it a good mush on your lips when your lips are clean. Um, you can put a little bit of lip balm and then mush that off. This has got in it um, Jojoba oil, castor sugar and wild orange oil. But it actually kind of smells like, let me just double check. Yeah, it doesn't really say it has anything else in it, but to me it smells very like um, blackcurranty. Or kind of like plum as well. But that real fruity kind of to it. Very sweet, it's like a blackcurrant or plum sweet because it has a lot of sugar in it obviously. So that's this guy, love him. And then the next sugar scrub, when I seen this I was like, oh my goodness, must have, need it in my life. I love anything with cranberry in it. Um, I'm just changing over to find the other one, um, the one I'm talking about now. 
I love anything with cranberry in it. So when I seen the cranberry fizz sugar scrub or lip scrub, I was like, oh god, I'm going. To, uh, that's I need that in my life all the time. This is like this bright fluorescent pink sort of shade. Um, I'll just show you what's in it, or I'll say what's in it, not show you because my computer's down here. Um, this has got um, fair trade shea butter, it's got Brazilian orange oil, cranberry seed oil, and peach kernel oil, and it's obviously got sugar, um, like granulated sugar, and it's got lime oil as well. Oh, and ginger absolute. Wow, okay. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. Cool. Um, it's this super bright hot pink sort of colour which is amazing. Um, very sweet but more tangy. Can really smell the cranberry. It kind of smells like, have you ever had a cocktail with a lot of cranberry in it? That's what it smells like. Like it, it smells really like tart and stuff like that because of the cranberry but it's still sweet. So nice. So I cannot wait. I only have three lip scrubs, one not from Lush, one is from MAC and then I've got my sugar plum and then I've got this guy so yeah, so I'll probably definitely get through these in, in the year let's see, probably next year I'll probably still have this watch you know, so that is our cranberry fizz so the next thing I'm going to show you is a face product and it's a face mask, which I love face masks this is a jelly face mask and this is the Rudolph face mask this guy is adorable it's got a red nose. Look at it. Oh my god. It's like this dark chocolatey brown. And when I say, you know the way you smell some things in Lush and you're like, I could eat that? I could honestly eat that. I know I'm not going to and you shouldn't. But I could definitely eat this. It just smells like a chocolate muffin. Not, it doesn't smell the way Butter Bear smells like chocolate. The way it has that chocolatey sort like smell off it. This smells like pure chocolate. Oh it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. In this guy you've got meadow sweet and orange peel infusion. Couldn't tell you what that is. Fresh orange juice, um seaweed extract and it's got cocoa powder and it must have like a tub of cocoa powder in each one. It smells that chocolatey. Oh my god, I actually cannot wait. And I can't wait to put the little nose on me. It's so, the nose is really, really extra squishy. This bit is not squishy. The nose is really jiggly, which is really cool. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Boop. Yeah. So, so nice. So I cannot wait to use this. This says just for like skincare purposes. Um, It says, Rudolph with your nose so bright, won't you cleanse my face with cocoa powder, orange oil, and kaolin tonight. Kaolin I think is clay, isn't it? Pretty sure, pretty sure it's clay, pretty sure. Um, so that'll kind of draw out anything that's in your skin. So I think it's just really nice and cleansing on the skin. So I cannot wait to use this. And I'm gonna have my nose on. I'm gonna put the nose on my nose when I have it on. Every time, every time. I'm gonna save the nose every time. <laughs> okay, so that is those guys. So now I'm moving on to more body stuff. Um, I'm gonna go into body conditioners and one body lotion that I have. Um, most of these I have previously bought. In fact, all of these I have previously bought except for one thing. <laughs> um, these are all ones from last year. They're not in the best of conditions, let's just say that. Um, why am I not in focus? There we go. Um, yeah, a lot of them aren't in the best of conditions. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I've actually got two body lotions I lied. I just realised there I lied. Um, so let's get into this. I think I'm going to start with the body lotions anyway and then move on to the body conditioner. So let me grab one. Okay, so the first body lotion I'm going to show you is the Once Upon a Time. So this is scented after the So White range, which was a bath bomb and a shower gel um, inspired by Snow White. It smells like apples and really, really, really fresh, fresh, crisp asp asp apples. Apples. Calm down, Carla. Relax yourself. Um, this has got this like really nice pale kind of minty green. You can see how much I've used. This I bought last year. It was just this really fresh apple scent. Great in the morning, you know, if you have a morning shower and you're like, oh, it just smells amazing. 
Um, so this has got apple infusion, it's got organic jojoba oil, it's got a leafy butter and grapefruit. You can, the grapefruit gives it that like uplift kind of zest kind of feeling um, and the apple is kind of the main scent. So that's a really, really nice one. Love that guy. The next body lotion I have is Sleepy. I have like three of these because <laughs> I got them in sets and I, I bought two when I originally bought it. I bought two, I wanted the big one, they didn't have it, so I bought two small ones instead. Same price, you know. And it's, I then got another one in a set, so yeah. I've had, I have got a lot of this, but I love it. I use it when, when I'm going to work, some days I have to be in work at seven. Um, and, you know, makeup bars, I have to have a makeup on, I'm not allowed into work without makeup on. Um, so I have to have a full face makeup on, not, it doesn't have to be, say, as dramatic as this, not that this is really dramatic for me, but, you know, I just have to have everything done on my face, but that still means I have to get up two hours before work because I have to get ready for, like, an hour, which is basically, like, hair, breakfast, everything, tea, maybe two cups of tea, depending on how much time I have, and my face. And sometimes it's quite extravagant looks that we do, we do wear as well, so, you know, it just depends on the day and then I have an hour commute. So it's basically this guy the night before and I've got Dreamtime Temple Balm, which basically is like oil that you put on your like pulse points. It makes you um, more relaxed. And um, I put this kind of like here and on my arms, anywhere I'll be able to like smell it when I'm asleep. And I'm not even joking, this literally knocks you out. I swear to God. It's so good for those nights when you know you used to be up so early and your sleeping pattern's a bit messed up and you just need to go to sleep. It's amazing. There's a reason why it's called Sleepy. It's amazing. Sorry, my camera just cut off because it was being really rude. So anyway, like I was saying, this smells exactly like Twilight. This has got lavender. It's got tonka. It's got ylang ylang. So it's that sweet lavender scent. Really nice and soft, powdery lavender. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's so, so good. So yeah, get your hands on this. It's there all year round, but even the shower gel, get the shower gel as well. This is amazing. So yeah, sleepy. Okay, so on to the body conditioners. Um, I have two naked, two tubs. Um, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the two tubs. Um, one of my naked ones is not fa faring so well. So, well it is doing well, but it's just, it's quite small. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show you the two tubs. The first one I'm going to show you is Chris Tingle. Love this. Bought this one for my mom because she stole my other one. Um, so I bought her a big one for herself and um, she really likes it. Yeah. It's such a strong like spearmint scent. Great yeah. in the morning. That's a Chris Tingle. Love this guy. That's out again. It's also a naked form and I'm pretty sure the Magic Crystals body scrub has a very similar scent to this. So if you like your minty scents, go for this guy. The next one I'm going to show you is Books Fizz. So this one has the Celebrate scent family, I think it's called. Um, it's basically like orange, like um, Books Fizz, like very orangey, all that jazz. I'm just going to get the products up just so I can explain properly because I'm not doing very well with this guy. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So this has got fresh pink grapefruit, orange blossom water, Brazilian orange oil and cognac oil. So it's got some alcohol in there. It's so nice and the more you smell it the sweeter it gets. It's so good. Out of the body conditioners I would probably say this is my favourite one and um, it's the one you can tell I've kind of used a good bit of um, you know and I will definitely rebuy one before it goes out of stock for Christmas. Um, I might get even the bigger tub just, for, just to kind of have for the year. I really, really like this. Love this scent. Um, the colour is really cool as well. This also comes in the naked version. And it shares its scent with the Golden Wonder Bath Bomb, which you will see in a few minutes. So I'm going to show you my first naked body conditioner. But this is the one that doesn't look very very well. He's not, he's not doing very well. This is my Snow Fairy body conditioner. <laughs> I do really like this as well. It's quite easy to use as well because just, I just like hold it up and it's just like... I'm gonna rub it on myself, it's really nice. This is super sweet, if you know Snow Fairy, you know what I'm talking about. Super sweet, super candy-like, but like bubble gum, ca like candy floss, that kind of thing. This has got cherry infusion, almond oil, mango butter and avocado butter, so it's really, really moisturising, it's kind of melting in my hands as well. Um, don't leave this in your shower, by the way, because it will just melt. 
Um, but super, super sweet. So you like your sweet scents, really sweet, a little bit sickly sweet. These are really nice. I'm not normally a fan of it, but I like it in the conditioner. I think it's a little bit softer in the conditioner. I was going to get a shower, a snowberry shower gel, but I was a bit like, no, I'm not. I'm not going to use it because I'm over it and yeah, I'm not a big snow fairy kind of gal. Um, I'm more a twilight gal and now a cinders gal. So yeah, um, I've got it in my baggie now. Um, that's the snow fairy body conditioner. Okay, and the last body conditioner I have also naked. This is what it should, what the snow fairy one should look like. It looks a little bit sturdier. This is the rose argan sparkly body conditioner. Now we do have a Rose Argan body conditioner all year round. I haven't used it yet, but it's it's supposed to be really, really nice. I do love my body conditioners. This is the solid version, the naked version, um, and this one's actually sparkly. It's got like little bits of gold kind of throughout it. Um, so I'm assuming it makes your skin sparkly. Um, same idea with the other one, just kind of rub it on yourself out of the water and then get in the water and rinse it off. Um, this has got a little bit sweeter than Rose Jam or Rose Argan, but really, really nice. I think it's because it's got so many butters in it, it's a bit sweeter. This has got Argan oil, um, Rose Absolute, Geranium oil, and lemon oil. Could be the lemon oil actually, I'm smelling. Really, really nice, really sweet. The rose in it is not that like, old oh, lady rose, I, don't, I hate saying that though. Like that real floral, powdery rose, it's not that. It's real nice. Nice and sweet. Really, really nice. So yeah, very excited to bust into this guy. Okay, now we're getting into the, we're, we're dipping our toes into the fun parts. I'm gonna move on to my bath melt or bath oils, whichever way you wanna call it. One of them has a lot of sparkle on it. You probably know which one I'm talking about. Um, the other one I'm very excited about. Um, so I'm gonna bust into the one that's not sparkly first, just to save myself the hassle. I do literally have a towel right beside me so I can wipe my hands. Um, because I, don't, or, I have another sparkly, three more sparkly products after that one and I would prefer it to not be covered in glitter even though I'm gonna have a bath anyway so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, so the first one that I have is called the Plum Pudding and it's in this little like muslin cloth. It's kind of tied here, it's very cute. Um, this smells like Plum Rain. Shower gel, it's the closest to Plum Rain I've ever smelled. Still don't own Plum Rail yet, but I'm not getting it now after buying all this. I don't need it. Super sweet. Super fruity. But it still has an earthy, like not earthy, like like dirt earthy. But like it's quite grounded as well. Um, it's basically in this muslin cloth because it's got a lot of like oats in here. And basically you dip this into your water. Let it melt. You can get a few goes out of this because you can just swish it around a little bit. Let it melt for a bit and then take it back out. Um... And then when you get to the end, you can use the oats to kind of moisturise it because oats are great for moisturisation. Um, this is basically like the, sh oh, I'm going to butcher this as well, Sheridwin's Cauldron one. It's basically that, but in a different scent. Oh, I love this scent. I love the Sheridwin's Cauldron as well. So this guy has got dried dates, Osmanthus Absolute, whole oats, Sicilian red mandarin oil, and I'm going to assume that there is plum in here somewhere because it just has to be. Dried dates, raisins, does that count? Where's the plum? Guys, where's the plum? Apparently there's no plum, even though it's called plum. It's so, so good, and you can actually, like I can actually see and feel like the oils in it. Um, so excited, I'm so excited you can get a few goes out of this as well, it's really, really nice. So that's our plum. Put it Okay, so the next one is the sparkly one. I'm just gonna take it out and I don't particularly want to hold it for too long because I will end up covered in glitter. This guy is the Starlight Star Bright Bath Melt. It came out last year, it came out a few years ago as well. It's this super metallic star covered in glitter. Like that's all glitter and it's um, natural glitter so it like dissolves in the water. Um, well, like it eventually dissolves in the water, not while you're in the bath. Um, but this is like a bath melt bath bomb. Not really, but like it has colours on the inside. So when it melts, it does change. It's big enough to change the colour of your bath. It's the biggest bath melt bar snow angel I've ever seen. Um, this has got ginger oil, murmur butter, lime oil and almond oil. This guy smells, oh no. You mainly smell the oil. But there is a little bit of... <laughs> 
god, oh my god, it's everywhere. Um, you can smell the ginger a little bit as well, it's a bit spicy. But mainly the lime oil. Um, I'm going to put this away now because it's currently melting and I don't want it to fall all over me. Um, but I do love that and I would get a few of these. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so now we're getting even further into the fun stuff. We're moving on to the bubble bars. So I just want to show one before I continue. Um, this is not part of the Christmas range. This is actually part of the Halloween range. But I did pick it up. But I did say in my last video that I was going to pick it up. It's also a sparkly one, so bear with me. This is the sparkly pumpkin. This has got... Let me just find it one second. It's very um, fresh but spicy at the same time. Um, really nice. I usually kind of do it in halves. I kind of get two baths out of it or sometimes even three depending on how much I want to use. This has got juniper berry. That's what you can smell the most. Juniper berry, lime oil, grapefruit oil and corn flour. I can mainly smell the juniper berry oil and the lime oil. Mmm. So nice. But it's so cute. It looks like a little pumpkin. It's really cute. So yeah, love this guy. I did pick it up. I was too tempted. I couldn't not pick it up. Um, and I did say in my Halloween haul I was probably going to pick it up. And I did. I kept my word. Even though I shouldn't have because it cost me more money. So I'm just going to kind of grab one because I've got a few. So I know which one I want to leave to last though. Um, let's just start with you. You'll be fun. So this guy is the snowflake bubble spinner. Like this. And... He spins. He spins. And I don't know why, but to me this smells like cola balls. Like the little jellies, cola balls. Mmm, that smells real good. Um, let's just see what's in this guy. Snowflake. Um, so basically you kind of let the tap kind of spin this guy and it'll make bubbles in your bath. Um, so this guy has got orange flower absolute, Sicilian lemon oil, patchouli oil, that's what I'm smelling. And Brazilian orange oil. I think it's the patchouli and the lemon mixed together. It's giving me that like cola bottle scent. It's like a white, with a slight shimmer, but it's got a little bit of blue silver kind of on the actual divots on the top of it. So it's really, really nice. I'm excited to use this because I've never had one. I'm kind of not really into the whole bubble spinner thing, but this was cute. It was Christmassy one. I was like, I'm gonna get one. Screw it. I have like, no space for any of this stuff, so I, I have to put all this away when I'm done this, and I don't know where I'm gonna put it. So the next one I'm gonna talk about is the, what's it called? The Naughty Elf Bubble Bar. And he's adorable. He's so cute, his big hat. He's so cute. He's got a little mustache as well and his nose. Um, Oh, you're interesting. Mm. Oh, I'm smelling two completely different things each time I smell. Oh God, okay. So this guy has got, yeah, I can definitely smell that. The Violet Leaf Absolute, I can definitely smell that. But I can smell the mango sometimes. And it's also got Petagrain Oil. I'm mainly getting the Violet, but I can, I can smell the mango in there. He's lovely. I'm very happy with him. I'm gonna be very sad to have to kill him. That's really grim, oh my God. Because <laughs> I will have to cut him up. That also sounds really grim. I will have to break it apart, break the bubble bar, not him, the bubble bar apart. And I'll be very sad when I have to do that. Love this though, very cute. So the next one that we're going for is the Puddy Hoddy, Hoddy? Puddy Holly bubble room and um, so it looks like this and you might be thinking when you look at it that looks a little like a mini version of the holly go light the bubble bar which came out a million years ago and um, it was a lot bigger a bit more comforter size and that smelled like pure cinnamon really spicy really nice but not my cup of tea completely i would use it and i would buy one but i would only use it when i'm in the mood um this does not smell like that this is more Oh, I don't even know. It's still spicy. It smells a little bit like snow cake. Oh. I can smell almond in there. That's really nice. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, almond essential oil, Tonka Absolute, Fair Trade Shea Butter, and Fair Trade Organic Cook Butter. So this bit in the middle is the butter. 
in the little slice there. That's really moisturized. You can break it apart. You can use it all together, whichever way. I would probably get two goes. So I'd probably break it apart. Oh, I like him. He's very nice. There's a muskiness. Well, it must be the tonka. Very nice. I do like him more than I thought I would actually. Because I think when I first sniffed it, I don't know what I was smelling. Um, I my nose must have just gone. That happens when I'm in a lush. I'm, I'm there for a long time. I can't smell anything anymore. Are you guys bored yet <laughs> of me talking about lush? Because I'm not. Okay. So the next one that we have is what I would say is the most perfectly formed candy cane I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at the stripes on that. Like, wow, that's amazing. I'm so like impressed by that and it looks so smooth. I kind of just want to rub it. Um, this guy is a bubble bar, obviously. It's reusable, so you could literally just like swish it around like that or like, you know, swish it around like that, which I, I don't know, you could swish it whatever way you want to. This is very sweet. This has got Sicilian lemon oil, bergamot oil and glycerin, which is a humectant if you didn't know. Draws moisture into your skin. Very sweet though. Do you know what it kind of smells like? Candy Mountain. A little bit. A little bit of Snow Fairy in there as well. But not as strong as Snow Fairy. But there's a touch of it. There is a touch of it. That's really, really nice. I'm really, really excited to use that. Mmm. Mm. Okay, so this next guy is a, a returning product but in a different form. This is the Candy Mountain, what's it called? Candy Mountain Yule Log. So basically this comes in a big log and they kind of chop off as much as you want. I just got the kind of, the ones that were pre-cut, so like the standard size of a bath bomb, or bubble bar, not bath bomb, bubble bar. Um, it's pink, some of them come with like white on top. I could try to get one white on top, couldn't buy one. Um, this has got Vanilla Absolute Fair Trade Shea Butter and Fair Trade Organic Cocoa Butter. Um, let's see, doesn't say anything else that it has, but this is super sweet. Cream of tartar, I know that that's in this. That gives it part of its scent. It's really, really nice. Really sweet though, but it's this kind of sweet I like. There's something about it that I like more than I would like Snow Fairy. There's still a, like a soft, slightly creaminess to it. It's really, really nice. Very excited to see the colour of this. It's gonna go like fluorescent pink in your bath. The old Candy Mountain was like a, a cone kind of shape. It was like a, a cone, it was like circular and like a cone. I'm gonna keep saying cone. It was a cone shape basically. And it was pink and white swirls all the up. It was still pretty. I don't really know why they kind of changed it, but they probably want to do this whole Yule log thing. Um, okay, so the last one I'm very excited about because this really, and it does say on the website that it, it was inspired by that, but it really, as soon as I walked in, I was like, oh my God, that looks like, and I couldn't think of the name of it. It's basically called the Battenberg cake and it's a big log. Um, and you cut it off as well, so it was really cool that they made it into this. But it looks like this guy. And anyone who knows about Merc will know exactly what I'm talking about when they see this. Um, this is the Yog Nog Yule Log scent. Um, or it's that's the name of the product, but the scent is Yog Nog. Um, which is super kind of cake-like. It's literally like cake. It smells edible. It smells really nice. Kind of like toffee. But this has got, it's got a few things in it. So this has got clove bud oil, which I'm not a big fan of clove, but can't, I can't really smell it in this. It's got ylang ylang oil, gardenia extract, fair trade organic cinnamon powder, nutmeg powder, soya milk powder, soya yogurt, and something else. Did I say nutmeg? I did say nutmeg. That's everything. Oh, shea butter, because it's really much, it's kind of melting a little bit. Um, it smells edible. It smells so nice. And it's huge. Look at the size of it. It's huge. Oh my god, it's so nice. Oh, I could eat that. I'm not going to, but I could. I really could, trust me. Okay, so now we're on to the fun part. My favourite part. I this is this is why I go into Lush so much. And um, these are the things that I will stock up on. The other bits I won't really stock up on probably at all. Maybe the face mask if I really like I'll probably get like two of them. But these are the things that I stock up on a lot. So this is the bath bombs. And the first one that I'm going to show you is the Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. This is the most beautiful, bright cobalt blue. It's got these gold shimmery stars, three of them kind of 
around the top of it there and those are actually cocoa butter they melt in the bath so you're basically getting a bath bomb bath oil mixed together it creates the most beautiful like bright blue water with this gold shimmer run through it's stunning um this smells like the honeybee bath bomb which was out years ago got discontinued my first ever bath bomb full was the honeybee and i love it so this brings me back it's got the honey i washed the kids scent oh it's so nice really sweet really nice it's got fair trade organic cocoa butter brazilian orange oil um, coconut cream and bergamot oil but it's really really sweet it's a really really nice scent oh I bought one of these from my mum I forgot to give it to her before she went out but I did buy one for her because I know she liked this because it's got the, the cocoa butter in it but I would highly highly recommend this I always get about two of these every year um, so this is my first one I'll probably get another one maybe two more let's see so I'm just kind of picking these at random and the next one that I picked up it's got a little bit of pink on them your purr thing um, this one I buy every year I buy at least one every year because I just love them he's really cute and um, this is the butter bear bath bomb this is basically the butter ball bath bomb but just shaped like a bear and he's got a scarf what more could you want with your life the butter bear has got little bits of um, cocoa butter in it, it smells like a soft chocolatey cocoa scent but not as chocolatey as the Rudolph face mask like I said earlier he's lovely really nice and sweet but in a chocolatey sweet way not a sickly sweet way he's so nice really moisturizing because of the shea butter that's in him but he's just so cute i kind of i do like to buy a few of him they do a tin i don't know if they do it every year but they did it the past couple of years basically a tin of butter bears so it's like a tin of chocolates or a tin of biscuits but it's a tin of butter bears and it's really cute it's got a big butter bear in the front of it very cute um, but I love him so get your hands on one of these guys I know it's not the flashiest of bath bombs I know it doesn't really do much bar moisturize your water but it's good for your skin guys and he's super cute so this next one I was very intrigued when I heard the name of this guy and um, this is the world's smallest disco bath bomb and I didn't really get it when I first seen it then I was like what is this then I realized it's you know those disco lights that you see and they go like this and they've got all the colors all over them and you buy them and they're like really cheap and they're at like like school discos and stuff like that it's like it's basically one of those and I was like oh now I get it that makes sense and it's black it turns your water black I'm pretty sure I can see it on the website pretty sure it turns your water black which is amazing so this has got Persian lime oil it's got popping candy which I love a bit of popping candy in my bath bombs it's got grapefruit oil and cognac oil. You can definitely smell the cognac oil. And the lime oil. Hmm. Yeah. Very zesty. Really nice. Oh, so nice love it and it, these will create such nice colors in your bath your bath probably won't be those any of those colors it'll probably be black but the layer on top will be these colors when you're first getting into it very excited about this who doesn't want a black bath like seriously come on especially anyone who watches me who doesn't want a black bath seriously okay so the next one i bought i didn't actually think i was going to buy this i was going to boycott these because i wasn't really a big fan of them last year these are the jelly bombs and this is the snow fairy jelly bomb this is the only snow fairy product that i have bought this year that's actually snow fairy and um, basically the jelly bombs the like white parts they kind of um what have they got in them i'll tell you now they have got sodium alginate so basically it creates this like goo on your bath that doesn't sound attractive at all it's kind of not but um, it's fun, it's like slimy and it makes your skin really soft and really moisturised and you're bathing in jelly, it's amazing but my issue I had with them was they didn't fizz so they get like halfway or like three quarters of the way through and then the, the jelly kind of just overtook the bath bomb and the bath bomb couldn't fizz anymore so I have to keep breaking it off and breaking it and I like to just let my bath bomb do its thing in the water and let it go um, not like frozen so i was going to just not buy any of them and um, because i was just i'm not really into them um but i decided because expert who i was watching earlier or who i was talking about earlier pointed out that they used to have the white spots kind of all over 
here. So it was completely covering the whole thing. Now it's not on the bottom. So I'm wondering if that'll be different. I wonder if that's what they've changed to make it a little bit better. So we might try this again and see. The Snow Fairy scent is very sweet, a little bit sickly for some people. My mom does not like Snow Fairy. I like it, I actually do really like it, but I have to be in the mood for it. It smells like bubble gum, it smells like candy floss. It smells like pink, basically. That's what it smells it, If you imagine what pink smells like, it's this. So I am quite excited to use this guy. Okay, I'm gonna show you an another thing that I bought that was from the Halloween collection, but I picked one up as well. It's another jelly bomb because again, I got it because there's none on the none of the yellow bits on the bottom, so hopefully it'll fizz properly this time. This smells exactly like the I would say Yeah, it smells pretty much bang on the shower gel. But this basically creates green or like this like lime green yellowy slime. <sighs> yeah. Um it smells like sunny delight. It's got grapefruit oil, it's got tangerine oil, and it's got litsy cubeba oil, whatever that is. But it's very zesty, very limey, but there's there's still a sweetness there. Very excited to use this. I think tonight I'm gonna use my Extraplasm shower cream. I'm probably not gonna use this guy, but I'm probably gonna use my Monsters Ball because I'm waiting to use him for a while. Okay, so next one that I'm gonna go through is a new one. And this is the, what's it called? The Cherry Christmas, Cheery, not Cherry, Cheery Christmas bath bomb. So it's not cherry scented, so I don't think it is. It's so cute. It's got a little snowflake imprinted on, or engraved on the top of it. It's got white in the middle, so assuming it's gonna be a light pink bath. Um, it smells quite like the comforter and it's got Bushu oil which has got, it's quite blackcurranty so that's why it smells a bit like the comforter. Um, Sicilian lemon oil and cornstarch to kind of thicken it up a little bit. It's really nice. I'm very excited about this and I'm really really excited about how this is going to look in the bath. I wonder if there's anything else going on on the inside. I don't think there is but it'll be fun to see. Very excited. I was expecting this to smell like Snow Fairy though. But it's not. Comforter. I'm happy. Okay, so this bath bomb looks really, really not as interesting as you would want it to be. But to me, it looks so interesting. This is the Pearl de Sel bath bomb. This is like a white kind of colour on the outside. It's, you can see a little bit of luster around it. It's got these like golden nuggety bits in the middle. Um, and it smells exactly like Snow Cake. If you know what that smells like, it's basically like marzipan. Very, very nice. It's got coarse sea salt, rose absolute, benzoin resinoid, and African salt pearls, which is what I'm assuming these guys are. And how rude my phone. And this basically, I think, from what I can see, kind of on it, turns your water a little bit blue, and I'm assuming shimmery as well. It just looks really luxurious, looks real pretty, looks very sophisticated in a bath bomb. As opposed to the other ones I've bought. <laughs> but, very very nice, really like that one. Very excited to use that one. Reminds me a little bit of the um, Stardust bath bomb that came out last year and the year before that. Love that bath bomb. It was like a white on the outside and it had um, this like minty bluey green sort of colour on the inside and it made this really nice shimmer, like very soft shimmer in the bath. It was so pretty. I can't even remember what it smelled like but it was so pretty in the bath. I love that. I wish I brought that back. So this next one, next bath bomb that I have, just going to pre-warn you. If you have that phobia of the um, tripophobia, the fear of holes or holes clustered together may want to look away now because this is called Holy Night and it looks like it's got lots of holes in different sizes on each side. I don't actually have that phobia but what does weird me out a little bit is loads of tiny little holes on skin. That kind of weirds me out but I think that's just because it's the skin and that weirds me out but if I've seen it on other things it doesn't really freak me out too much. I, I don't get freaked out. Um, this smells amazing. This smells so nice. Very perfumey. Um, this guy has got Rose Absolute. Yeah, I can get that. Soya Milk Powder, Silly Lemon Oil and Sandalwood. That's what I'm smelling, Sandalwood. Oh yeah, it's, it's nice and earthy. But perfumed, so what I'm assuming the Rose is doing. Oh, it's lovely. And I'm gonna assume this turns your bath a little bit blue. Oh wait, hang on, there's pink there. Oh, we might have a fun bath bomb here. I don't know what this is gonna turn into. 
I was gonna say green because it's yellow with the blue, but who knows now? It could be a big surprise. Really excited to use that guy. I like how many new bath bombs there is out this year. There's a lot and I'm really enjoying it. So the next bath bomb I'm gonna show you is good old Luxury Lush Put. A little bit like the world's smallest disco, it kind of has those spots, but that's more inspired by this, but it's got little like holly on the top, so it actually looks like a pudding, but it's pink and it's colourful and it's beautiful. But it's different. There's a difference this year and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, it used to smell like Twilight, it used to have that scent, which I loved and I thought was really, really cool. I had a Christmas product that smelled like Twilight. Now it smells like the comforter. It's blackcurrant or Cassis Absolute Bergamot Oil and Cypress Oil, but it's basically blackcurrant. It's the comforter. And I love the smell of the comforter, don't get me wrong. But when I see this, I, I instantly, in my head, smell Twilight. So when I'm smelling it now, it's weirding me out because I don't know what the, like, what's actually happening right now. It doesn't seem like reality. Um, gives you really nice colours in the bath. Um, I can't really say much about it now because I don't really know what it's like when with this scent. So yeah, I'm excited to use this, but I do like the comforter scent. I, I'm not saying I don't like it. It just, it's, it's throwing me off because I'm so used to it being the one scent. So we're on to our last normal bath bomb because I've got a couple more but they're not regular ones. I'll just show you in a few minutes. But this one is the last one and I always get at least one. This is our golden wonder. He's beautiful, he's huge. There was a giant one last year which was insane. Would not have bought that but pretty cool. I just, I wouldn't have paid the money for it. This is um, a present, it's shaped like a gift. It's like this. And um, this has the same scent as the Books Fizz body conditioner so it's got the cognac oil, lime oil and sweet orange oil. Gorgeous and fresh and zesty. Mm. And then when you shake it, oh I don't know if they're doing it anymore. You used to be able to shake it and you could hear a present inside. It was basically like two little bath bombs that would come out and then colour your water. Because this does not go yellow, this goes a different colour. But I won't spoil that for you. I'll let you get that on your own. 100% recommend this to anyone or a gift for anyone because it just looks so cool. It looks so like amazing when you see it. So highly, highly recommend that for anyone and everyone. Okay, so these are in the actual bags, not my little sandwich bags. Um, these are just a bit crazy because, I mean, Lush do these kinds of things. I'm not really surprised, but like it's really cool and really fun. But they're just like, I was just like, okay, why not? Yeah, cool. So these are the bomb bombs. So basically they're bath bombs, they're like normal bath bombs, but they're like two bath bombs put together. So you can have two baths or have one very, very bath bomby bath. It's up to yourself. I would use for two because they are more expensive. Mine were, say, say a Lord of Miss Rule bath bomb is six euro. These were 12. So you're like doubling your price there. Um, I'm gonna show you the first one. This is the Princess Bomb Bomb. Not the most attractive faces in the world, I have to say. But, uh, which way does she go? Does she go this way? Yeah. So, she looks like this. I don't know why her face is green, though. I don't get that. I don't know. But she smells so nice. But, like, you can have the head, or you can have the body or you can put them both together and get a big colourful bath. Um, I'll just use them separately, that's just me being really stingy. Um, so this guy has got, or, well this girl, has got ylang ylang oil, cedarwood oil, um, benzoin resinoid and bergamot oil. I'm definitely smelling the cedarwood. Not really smelling ylang ylang. It's very musky, it's a very musky perfumey kind of smell. Yeah, very very nice. I'm very excited to use these. These are just crazy, but they're so fun. Very excited. So our next bomb bomb is the man himself. It is Santa Claus. Um, again, he comes apart. Kind of horrific for kids if you're trying to pull Santa's head off, but whatever. Um, so he smells a little bit sweeter. Still quite perfumey though. Um, what have you got? Cocoa Absolute, Vanilla Absolute and Bergamot. Have you got anything else in you? 
No. That's so weird. I can smell vanilla, but it's more perfumey than that. It's like a vanilla perfume, but like more perfume. I love them. I'm assuming your bat's gonna be red, but yeah. It's so cute. And then last but not least, this is our final product, our final bomb bomb, and our final product of this video. So this has taken a while. If you made it this far, I applaud you because I just about made it this far. And I'm the one filming this. I'm the one who keeps talking. So our last one is going to be the Snowman Bum Bum. Now this guy I think is really cute. This one is cute. The other guy's a little bit freaky looking, but like he's real cute. He's so cute. But this guy smells exactly like Chris Tingle. So this is the mint. This is pure spearmint. It's got spearmint oil, water. That's basically it. Basically it's all spearmint oil. Um, I literally can't even see anything else that's in. No. No, it's literally spearmint oil. So nice. So I'll probably use this with the Chris Tingle and I'll probably use it with... I don't know. I'll have to see what, bar, what bubble bar I want to use. But this I really, really like. Of the three bomb bombs, this is my favourite one. I'm more addicted to this smell. Because the spearmint is more sweet. Obviously it's sweeter than peppermint, so spearmint, I just like spearmint more. So lovely. I love him. He's so cute. So that's our last bomb bomb and our last product of this video. Okay guys, so that's us done. I'm not gonna ramble anymore because I'm pretty sure I've probably been filming for like two hours and I have to cut this down and I don't wanna have to give you any more to watch so you can like cut off now. But that was my Lush Christmas haul. That's pretty much my last haul of Lush for this year. Um, unless I get anything in the new year from like Stevens's day and stuff like that or Boxing Day and um, because I usually, usually do a sale and I'm usually working that day so I usually kind of pop in on my way home and get a few bits because it's usually half off in the store and um, it's mental but I'll get a few bits anyway I'll fight my way in if I have to um, but this will be pretty much my last haul for these and um, I will probably stock up on a few bits so who knows depends on what I like the most but yeah that is everything. So if you did like this video, give me a big thumbs up below. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these products, what's your favorite? And if you are a Lushy, let me know. And also please let me know if I've got bath bomb dust on my nose again, because I I probably do. I'm assuming I do. I inhaled it earlier on when I was in the, in the store. So yeah, I just did. So yeah, and hit subscribe down below to see any more videos. If you want me to do any specific videos, let me know. And I'll have many, 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 many makeup tutorials coming up soon. I've got a lot planned up. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.